It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Iceland limited edition scarily spicy Carolina Reaper chicken breast fillet strips. There's a look at them. Going to get these in the oven in a moment, but there's the spicy chili worn in there, fiery chili breadcrumb coating, very hot. And we're going to be pairing it. Today's beer is a Clogwing Gold Golden Hoppy Ale by Bragdy Conway Brewery. It's 4% ABV. 500ml bottle, black bottle cap. Without further ado, let's light the oven. Here's what they look like. Ho, 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 ho. Get some of them in the pan. They look terrific. Let's get them in the oven. Look at these chicken strips. They look good. Right, here they are on a plate. They look and smell delicious, to be honest. First and foremost, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. This is one of these beers that I've seen on the supermarket shelves for years and years and years here in Wales. Just never got round to trying it. I was in my local Tesco, seen it there. And I thought to myself, why not? It's time to grab this beer. We got a two finger white head, good levels of carbonation. It's a filtered beer. It doesn't look bottle conditioned, but there's lots. Look at that carbonation. A lovely looking beer, light golden Actually, you look close enough at this beer. There's bits and pieces flying around in that glass, so it is indeed bottle conditioned. Let's get the rest of the bottle in. It smells really good. Oh my goodness me. Right, I'm gonna leave some of that out. Lots of sediment in this in this particular beer. Aroma. Zesty, lemony, such a grapefruit. It smells really good, like it's the, the good old fashioned Cascade hop. Remember the Cascade hop? One of those American hops that first hit the UK that was very popular probably 10 years ago now. While I let these chicken strip things cool down, I'm gonna have a taste of the beer. Oh, that's a nice 4% ABV quaffing beer. That is something beautiful day again outside today. We're having a bit of a, an Indian summer here in the UK. Uh, it's mid-September. It's up in the 20s. Lovely and warm out there. This is the perfect beer for that. It really is. Light, drinkable, refreshing, nice malty, a light, slightly biscuity very light biscuity like wafer biscuit kind of flavors coming through on the sweetness to begin with a little bit of bitterness on the back end lots of grapefruit in the middle i'm pretty sure it's cascade come back to the beer in a moment here they are then the carolina reaper chicken strips. I give them a couple of more minutes in the oven. So it said 15 to 20, I give it 22 minutes just to make sure. So lots of spice on the outside, on the breadcrumb. Let's dive in. Mmm. Lovely white chicken and oh, oh, oh. oh they're lovely mm. oh that is delicious delicious chicken soft tender chicken the breadcrumb is is crunchy and crispy and then there's a fantastic fiery 
heat on the back end. Mm. Do you know what though? And I'm kind of happy about it. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. It's a building heat. I was going to say they're slightly tame, but they're a builder. By the time you eat a few of these, these are really going to catch up with you. Nowhere near as hot as the 999 takeaway Carolina Reaper chicken curry from Iceland. Nowhere near as hot as the the crazy hot spicy pizza we had, the scarily spicy pizza. These are more, you know when you, <laughs> pardon me, when you take an intake of breath like that, ooh, they're hot. They remind you they're very hot. Mm. They're borderline. What I really like about the flavour of these spicy chilli bites is that the Carolina Reaper is not just blowing your mind with spice. There's actually there's, there's actually nice, lovely chilli flavours on these on these bites. Mm. Really good, really good. But you can start to see. I'm not sure if you can start to see the the glisten now on my forehead. The the top lip seems to be wetting up a bit with the old perspiration. Hmm. This chicken, if this was served to me in a restaurant, I'd swear I was eating restaurant quality chicken bites, especially with the heat. This is Nando's at home. Um, by the way, I've never eaten at Nando's, ever. So, I don't really know where I got that statement from. Let's change our statement. This is like... I don't know, your pub chain... Your pub chain chicken... Quality... Quality chicken bites. No, really, yeah, this, the chicken's terrific. Crispy breadcrumbs, amazing. We start to see really now the the glisten, the the little bit of perspiration on my face. But did okay. I mean, well, you can probably tell. I'm just going to wolf these down. There's a lot of spice on the back of the throat. There's a lot of spice inside the mouth. Hmm. They're amazing, really good. <clears throat> I always go into these videos thinking, oh, what am I letting my in, myself in for today? What am I what am I doing today now? Am I gonna be up at three or four o'clock in the morning again? By the way, after that pizza, that ice and pizza, I was up at five in the morning, just in all sorts of stomach pain. I don't feel like at this stage they're going to cause me much problem. It is a, you know, as I mentioned earlier, that, ooh, they're hot, but they're not nowhere near making me dance around the kitchen like I normally would with some of these scarily spicy stuff in the supermarket. That beer is amazing, absolutely amazing. Right, very quickly, 
Um, if you tuned in for the, the spicy chicken nugget slice things, um, they're terrific. I'm going to give a rating on, my, on them in a moment. But while you're here, while, you, while you're here, can I give you a little bit of education on beer? Right. I mentioned earlier on how the beer was unfiltered. I started off by saying, oh, it is a filtered beer. And then by the time I started pouring the bottom bit of the beer in the, in the glass, you can see lots of suspension there. Lots of bits and pieces floating around in the glass, along with the carbonation. That's called the second fermentation process. The brewer has deliberately put a little bit of yeast in the bottom of this bottle to, to carbonate the beer, as beers used to be carbonated many moons ago, years and years and years ago, before forced carbonation, before they used to pump CO2 into the into the cokes and the beers and, and, and that sort of thing. It was all kind of like this is how they naturally made beer many moons ago. So I stopped up pouring the rest in. What you're probably going to see now is, is it go really murky. There you go. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm quite impressed that I picked up a bottle conditioned beer in Tesco that tastes really good. This beer is full of vitamin B. Yeast, sediment, full of vitamin B, really good for you. Don't be alarmed by the look of the beer. If you don't want the beer to look like this, maybe leave the last centimeter of the beer in the bottle and, and chuck it away. But I'm all for that vitamin B. I really am. I like that kind of vitamin B flavor. I'm still, can you hear the breather? I'm still, ooh, these are hot, these spicy bites. I like that. The water is really clean and refreshing. And if you think about a beer, if it's 4% ABV, it's going to be probably 97, 98% water. That's going to be the main ingredient. So North Wales water, good quality stuff. Lots of hoppy flavours. It's balanced. It's a good beer. Um, uh, good with curries and other Asian dishes. There we go. Um, tropical fruit aromas followed by sweet malt and gentle hoppy bitter aftertaste. Um, ultimate thirst quencher after a day on the mountains. Perfect, perfect. Uh, all our beers are bottled, bottled at source in a small batches. They undergo the minimum of processing. So they are unfiltered, unpasteurized, and naturally carbonated. Bottle conditioned then. We do this because we believe this produces better tasting beer. I hope you agree. Gwyn Thomas, head brewer. There we go. Check them out at the Conway Brewery. I'm going to rate that beer and I'm going to give it it's an 8 out of 10 for a bottle conditioned beer in a supermarket that's an 8 out of 10 these amazing amazing chicken strippy things mm. amazing yeah that's the best thing I've ever bought in Iceland full stop the best thing I would go to Iceland just for them Carolina Reaper bites. They would be a full-time kind of sauce in my in my freezer. Problem with that is, the kids may not like them. They probably won't like them, nor the wife. So it'll just be me eating the blooming things. When we have a cheeky freezer food day, pizza night or whatever, I'll chuck some of these in. They're the 10 out of 10. They're amazing. 10 out of 10. Not too hot, but a really good spice to them. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.